。各位 Mings 嘅读者，大家好，欢迎收听 Mings Radio。Monday is not blue。我系音乐人 Mary Lam Lam。今日咧，我想介绍呢一本书咧，就系、是、嚟自作者 David W. Shell 嘅一本书，叫做 Forgiveness Therapy。呢本书咧对我嚟讲咧系好特别。佢咧係用咗三十五種方法嚟教人哋點樣去寬恕別人。咁咧，當我覺得唔開心或者我覺得好 depressed 嘅時候咧，我就會拎住呢本細書。咁雖然佢嘅字句好簡短啦，但係我覺得佢每每一個字咧都好都好深刻嘅。咁我想讀俾大家聽。One forgiveness means mending without breaking. Being strong enough to withstand the heavy weight of injury, but resilient enough to recover. Be forgiving. Two, life is never perfect and often unfair. Forgive life and vulnerable failures. Three, forgive yourself for what you regret doing, and for what you wish you had done, for not being fully yourself. And for being only yourself. Four, self-forgiveness cleanses the soul, wash away shame and guilt. Out of self-forgiveness comes the power to extend forgiveness to others. Five, you have the right to feel sad, betrayed, angry, resentful when you have been injured. Understand, accept, and express your feelings. Pushing them below the surface only means they will erupt in another place, at another time. Six. Confront those who have hurt you. Tell them how you feel, when that's impossible, or when that could harm you or to someone else. Speak to them in your imagination. Seven. Forgiveness does not mean accepting further abuse or continuing disruptive relationship. Establish boundaries where what is acceptable to you, and make those boundaries clear to others. Hold them accountable for their actions. Eight, justice may right the wrongs, but forgiveness heals the hurt. Seek forgiveness beyond justice. Sometimes people hurt you because, like you, they are learning and growing. Forgive their incompleteness, their humanness. Ten, to refuse to forgive is to continue to hurt yourself. Victimized ones, your lack of forgiveness keeps you stuck as a victim, holding on to a victim's identity. Instead, claim the identity of one who forgives. Eleven, recognize how you refuse to forgive. Keeping inner monsters at bay requires energy. Instead, use your energy to affirm and embrace life. Twelve, victims are helpless, at the mercy of the offender. By showing mercy to an offender, you put yourself back in control. Take charge by forgiving. Thirteen, know that forgiveness is possible even in the most hurtful circumstances, even towards someone you may not trust or respect, even when someone doesn't seem to deserve forgiveness. It is a testimony to a goodness your Creator instilled within you from the first moment of you being. Fourteen. Forgiveness is the only real prescription for the pain you feel over someone else's behavior. The healing choices is yours to make. Fifteen, think of forgiveness as a powerful survival skill. It helps you find your way through the wildness of misunderstanding, hurt, resentment, and hatred. Find it hard to forgive your parents for their imperfect parenting. Remember, they were shaped by the imperfect parenting they received from parents, who are shaped by their own parenting, and so on and so on. 
17. Forget about forgetting an injury. That's not always possible. It may be at times not even desirable. Rather, choose to move on past remembering to forgiveness. 18. Let forgiveness be the catalyst for a healthy chain reaction. Forgiveness sterilizes a wound, which permits healing, which releases energy for growth. 19. No loving relationship is free to hurt. Bind up the wounds of love with forgiveness. 20. No offense is unforgivable, unless you make it so. Use your power wisely. 21. When you are having a difficult time forgiving, recall a moment when you wanted to be forgiven. Offer the other person what you wanted to receive. 22. Forgiveness takes practice. Start with small hurts and work your way up to the big ones. 23. Forgiveness is a lifelong process. Forgive over and over, even for the same offense. 24. Forgiveness may seem futile when you see no immediate results, but healing and growth are like fine aged cheese not instant mashed potatoes. Give forgiveness time. 25. No one can make you feel bad. You have the power to choose between getting bitter and getting better. Take responsibility for your feelings. Claim your power. 26. You cannot change someone for the better by holding a grudge. Grudges only change you for the worse. 27. Ask yourself, rather, I can forgive means I won't forgive. Then turn your heart toward the warmth of God love allowed and that love to thaw your heart. 28. Forgiveness takes courage and determination. Dig deep and you will find the strength you need. 29. Allow forgiveness to open the door to reconciliation. Today's bully could be tomorrow's friend. 30. Accept the possibility of rebuilding a relationship. Past offenses can be bulldozed and buried in a better life built atop the debris. 31. Don't put conditions on your forgiveness, or your inner peace will depend on the decision of the person who hurt you. Make your own choice. 32. When someone won't forgive you, refusing to forgive in return is no answer. That's like wrapping yourself in another's change. Keep yourself free. Forgive. 33. To help you forgive, picture the other person surrounded by the light of God. See yourself stepping in the same light and feel God's presence with you both. 34. Forgive even when there has been no apology or restoration. If you withhold forgiveness until a wrong is made right, you risk condemning yourself to a life sentence of unresolved bitterness. You risk letting your life be shaped by someone else's action. 35. Forgiveness is not something you do for someone else. It is for something you do for yourself. Give yourself the gift of forgiveness.